Welcome to Live Darts TV. We're here at the annual Target launch and we're joined by five times champion of the world, Raymond Van Barnevelt. Raymond, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. Unbelievable event and being part of Team Target must be great for yourself. Some of the things we've just seen are just mind blowing. I know. Um, it's got me it's get me excited, you know. All these new products, uh, my new darts as well. Uh, we started developing these darts three, four months ago, I think in April. Um, so when I saw them for the first time, I, I fell in love with them. Uh, I used it at the, at the match play in the World Series now, so uh, I'm pretty confident with them. Uh, Target sent me 21, 22, 23, 24 grams, so I'm gonna, gonna practice hard next week and decide which, which gram suits me the best. I'm using 25 now. So if, if, if you look at all the other players, you know, the, the, the top 10 players, 9 out of 10 play with 23, 22 or less. So I have to look at that as well because you have to, you have to dig in, you have to come up with these guys because they're so good at the moment. So you touched on it there, you've come back from the World Series. Did you have a good time in the Oceanic region? It was. Uh, it was worse for sleeping, <laughs> especially Auckland. Uh, middle of the night, 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 2 a.m. Uh, but we managed. Uh, I think I had three good results, a semi-final, final and a top, top eight. So uh, I'm really looking forward to, to the Grand Prix at the end of the month, uh, beginning of October. So I'm going to practice uh, two, three, four days a week now, practice hard, especially on doubles because it's a double opener tournament. So um, yeah, next week is uh, really important, this week and then uh, all the three weeks to prepare myself ready for that. So we're now in the business end of the season, as everyone calls it. There's so many tournaments um, coming along. Do you feel your game's in a good place to attack that? Yeah, but I, I, I skip a few. Uh, I'm, I'm not in the League of Darts. Uh, the Euro Tours, European Championship, I'm not going to make it because I don't have points enough. I'm going to play in Barnsley one Pro Tour weekend and, and, uh, and the Pro Tour weekend in Ireland. So I've got four um, days to, to try to get in the, in the, in the uh, Players' Championship finals. And otherwise, no, I, I play the uh, Grand Slam, uh, the World Championship, so, uh, which is good enough for me, um, and the Grand Prix, of course. Obviously, we've seen the calendar for 2019. It's, it's packed. Are you going to try and play in a little bit more, perhaps, or are you going to do the same as this year, pick and choose? The trouble is sometimes, you know, I'll leave home on Wednesday, I play on Thursdays in the Premier League, then on Fridays you do the qualifiers, then on Saturday you pro to Sunday you pro to get back on Monday, Tuesday night with the, with the, with the, with the players from my, from my local team, and then Wednesday back in for week two. So sometimes it's, it's, it's really, really a lot. Um, I tried three times this year uh, to try to qualify in, in the English qualifier it's not really happening uh, Adrian Lewis on my path um, Stephen Bunting on my path Johnny Clayton which which are amazing players so it's not easy to qualify just just by a finger I was gonna say is it perhaps you picking and choosing your events better for yourself as well now you get a little bit older where you can't do everything like the younger players as well yeah oh yeah yeah um, I try um, I'm gonna try next year as well but to me now my position which is number 12 in the world it doesn't automatically give you a wild card for for the Premier League so I have to defend 80 grand there this year so if I do wrong I'm gonna drop to, to the 24 position so uh, then it's panicking you know then you have to play more um, if not if I have a good run in the World Championship we'll, we'll see you know um, darts is really important for me but I'm 51 years old now and I it decided um, Apart from the, from the robbery at my, my home this year, my wife was robbed, got a, a gun at her, her head. I have to be there for my wife as well and for my family. Um, I went to Australia, match play, so sometimes I have to be with her as well and, and spend some time with her. But she, she's going through a tough period. You touched on the ranking there yourself. Is, is that something you pay a lot of attention to, where you are in the ranking and how much you're defending? Not really. To me, it, it, it doesn't matter. Um, number one in the world, of course you want to be number one in the world. But you can't reach that because Michael is way off. Um, to win tournaments, to win the World Championship, I think it's still possible. I still, if I believe in myself and I play well, I can beat. I show, I still show in the world that I'm still capable of beating, beating a lot of good players. But the, the trouble is, one day you beat Michael van Gerwen, the following day you play Gary Anderson, and the day after you play Rob Cross. So you need the stamina and the focus and the excitement to, um, yeah, to dig in and and. It, it, those players are ex exceptionally good at the moment. We've seen Michael struggle a bit of late. Is he still the best player in the world or has, has the rest caught him up a little bit? Um, 
to be fair, the, the way Gary is, is, is playing, it, it looks so easy sometimes. I think if, if Gary, Gary plays his A game, uh, no one will come near, I think. Last one from us. You're captain of your local team. What would your six-man dream team be? You can pick any player from any era. doesn't even have to be a professional. What would your six-man dream team be? Uh, well, Michael, Phil, myself, Adrian Lewis, Eric Bristow and John Lowe. Great dream team. Raymond, absolute pleasure. Thanks for joining us here at Live Darts. Absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you.